Have you ever wondered what it's like to sit in on a magazine editorial meeting? Well, this is your chance. You're listening to Salt Lake Speaks, a monthly podcast where our editors, writers, and staff dig deeper into stories, chat with newsmakers, and talk amongst ourselves about arts, culture, food, music, politics, or whatever else might strike our fancy. After all, we are Utah's biggest fans. Hello and welcome to Salt Lake Speaks, Salt Lake Magazine's own podcast. You can find this and other episodes at saltlakemagazine.com slash podcasts. Today I have Braden Floyd, co-owner of Social Axe Throwing in Ogden with us today. Thank you for sitting down with us, Braden. No, thanks for inviting me. I'm yeah. glad to be here. It's going to be fun. Okay, so besides the obvious, what is axe throwing? Besides the obvious? <laughs> okay, axe throwing has evolved from the obvious where it's your backyard or your camping sites and that kind of stuff where you're just chucking axes for fun and has evolved drastically. I think it always, always was there, but it's evolved drastically into a sport, and it's on its way to be recognized, in my opinion, from what I'm seeing, into a bigger sport than what people are expecting it to be. But Recognized by who? Um, as of right now, no one like big or anything like that, okay. but I think it's got a lot of potential to grow there. So, we come, so you come to our event, um, our place is called Social Axe Throwing, and it's pretty obvious what it's in the name, right? Uh, you come down, um, you pay to get in, we have you come in, we give you, we set you up with a coach, we set you up on a, on a lane or an arena, and what it comes with is two targets, or one target, and it's big bullseye looking target that you see um, when you're like out shooting bow and arrow or something like that. And we teach you a uh, proper technique, and we teach you how to throw, and we teach you all the stuff you need and all the safety and whatnot, and then it's like playing darts on steroids. It's a ton of fun. <laughs> darts on steroids. Yes, yeah, it turns, out, it turns into a ton of fun. It gets super competitive. Um, Ashley, you've been down there, you know, right? <laughs> it gets super competitive and stuff like that. I know, shush, right? We don't want to talk about that here. Um, yeah, it gets super competitive with our guests, and, they turn, and it turns into a, lot of, uh, a big gaming event, and a lot of times we get a lot of friends and family coming down, and everyone's super nervous to do it. And they're like, what, what? I don't know, we're going we're gonna to throw axes. Like, this seems a little odd. And by the end of it, they're like, we're throwing axes, you know? <laughs> and they're chucking, and they're having a good time, and it's a lot of fun, so. So it, because this is so obscure, how did you get involved in this? What, like? Okay, so a lot of people laugh at my story on how I got involved, all right? Um, to, a little backstory on myself on how I got involved in back, into axe throwing is uh, I, I've always had an entrepreneurial spirit, I believe, and I've always kind of wanted to open my own business, and I've been looking for a niche, and... Me and my fiance now, uh, one of our biggest things, uh, one of our biggest complaints always was like not being able to find something to do on Friday or Saturday night. You know, and I know there's a ton to do, but it was always like, oh, we've done that like a million times, or we've done this, and we've done that like a hundred times, right? And I've always wanted to open my own business, and I've always kind of thought, like I went down that, that's always kind of been like, well, what if I could find something there to offer to people? And I was on Facebook one day, and a video pops up. And I don't know if anyone knows the actor on here. If you guys are listening, it's Jason Momoa. He's the guy that plays, he's going to play Aquaman. He's in Game of Thrones. Yep. So a video pops up of Jason Momoa, right? And he's just looking all burly, standing there. And he's in this room. And there's a target behind him, like a big, huge, and it looks just like our targets. And he's got a hatchet in his hand. And some guy hands him a beer. And he takes a beer, and he drinks it. And he goes, hey, I'm Jason Momoa. And he drinks another sip, and he puts it down. And he goes, I like drinking beer and chucking axes. And he turns around, and he chucks the axe as hard as he can at the bullseye and nails it, right? And I just like went down a rabbit hole. I'm like, what is going on here? Like, what is this? And I just searched, and so I went down a rabbit hole on the internet and just searched and searched and searched and found these venues, these axe throwing venues. And I was like, that is what I want to be a part of, right? Mm -hmm. And so I went down that road and just was like, doing some research on where and how they are and found out, like, like you said at the beginning of the podcast, it's super popular in Canada. The venues are all over the place um, and they're, these axe throwing venues, it's similar to like when you go out bowling or something like that, right? But now you've got a sharp object in your hand instead of a bowling ball and you're chucking them. And so that's kind of where I, that's kind of how I got involved. It was literally, it was, a, it was an internet clip that I seen that just sparked an interest. And um, I brought the idea to, I brought the idea to my dad. My dad calls me in one day and so he kind of knows I'm on the entrepreneurial track and wants to do something on my own. And so he's got an idea he wants to spit to me. And I'm like, okay. So I come in and like I just had been pondering on this, right, for weeks, like weeks on weeks. And so I go in there and he's like, hey, so I got this business idea. I think maybe we should get together. Maybe me and you should do this. And he didn't even, I still like don't even know much of the idea. He didn't even get a couple sentences out before I just jumped on him. And I was like, you got to hear my pitch. Like, let me, let me tell you this one. And so I told him about about social axe throwing before we'd even come up with a name. Mm -hmm. And my dad's looking at me like, dude, this, I don't know. You're a little crazy. I don't know. And so I go home and I'm like, well, I'm still doing this. This idea sounds awesome. I, I love it. I think we should do it. So I go home 
he calls me the next day and he goes, yeah, I'm in, let's do it. And he had done what I did the night before and done a bunch of research and seen these venues popping up, seeing how, how much attraction all this is getting, how fun it is, how cool it can be, and how awesome we, I think we both felt it would be for Utah. I mean, I think it falls along a lot of lines of what Utah mm -hmm. speaks, you know, is outdoorsy and athletic and adventurous and all of it, right? And so he calls me and says, yeah, I mean, let's do this. So we built, a, so we, we come to the plans, we're talking about it, and he, my dad actually owns a remodeling company, and he's got a big, huge, like, just junkyard, right, of just old stuff and all his, where all his trucks park and all that stuff. So he's got this big garage slash wood junkyard, right? So we go in the back, and he's like, let's build this up a target and see what we think. So we build up this, this huge out-of-the-book target. We look up the rules and stuff, and we find, like, there's an actually a league, right? There's an actual national league, and we take all the rules, and we build it up, and we make it. And then we start throwing, and none of us are sticking an axe. <laughs> like, none of us. We are just bouncing the axe off over and over and over. And I can see in my dad's face, he's like, I don't know about this. So then we do some more research and kind of find out we bought the actual league axe. And the league axe is kind of hard to throw, right? Because you got to learn how to do it. We don't know how. So we go down to Home Depot, and we get these huge metal ones. And we come back, and we start throwing them. And they start sticking. And then we're like, OK, now we're on to something. Now let's figure out how to throw this little guy. So we do some research, and there's a proper technique, and that's what we, I think, actually, like you know, like that's how we push at social axe throwing is the technique is is key. Like once you get that down, you can throw any of these axes any size, and you'll start hitting bullseyes, or you'll hit the can, right? You'll hit, and that's part of our game. That's the can is one of our little uh, loopholes in our games, and where you get better, you get more points, um, and you'll start hitting, and you'll start killing it. So we start learning the technique, we start throwing the little one, and we start sticking, and it just turns into be a ton of fun, right? And so then we're like, okay, we need to open. So we start thinking of names. We come up with some ridiculous axe throwing names. What's right? the worst one you came up with? Oh, the worst one. I can't remember. So I have a husky, right? And I, I think he's a wolf, right? He's huge. He's ginormous. So we were trying to go off that one. It was like howling axes. I'm like, who's going <laughs> to hear that and have a clue what we're talking about? But I was trying to think of ideas. That's probably the worst. And then we were trying to think of like off the topic ones. Like my third partner, Steve, his was like the woodshed. I'm like, ah. What, how, what's going to say that's an axe throwing place, right? So that one, but I mean, that wasn't a bad name. We've, we've thought about spinning that one around for a while. So, I mean, that was, yeah, so we started thinking of the name. We come up with social axe throwing, and it's just in the name right there. Like, it just tells you exactly what you're going to get yourself into, right? I mean, everyone asks, like, what is that? And as soon as you think about it for two seconds, you're like, okay, I'm going to throw axes. <laughs> and a lot of time I show them a Facebook, a lot of time I'm like, here, check out our Facebook videos. And we show them videos, and they're like, holy crap. Like, all right, that's awesome. Let's go and try it. So we start thinking names, we spin a few ideas, we, get, we come down to social axe throwing. Um, we, uh, my dad and me are talking, and he's like, hey, I got a buddy I think that would be good for this. And I'm like, okay. So we go talk to our third partner, Steve, and we're like, Steve, here's, a, here's our idea, right? And he, showed, he has a building that that's, uh, we, wanted to, we wanted to look at to put our building into. And he's like, yeah, come down and look at the spot. And, he's, and he, we kind of told him a few ideas, like a little bit of what we're talking about, and he kind of said he'd be interested in getting in partnerships with us. So we go down, we're looking at the building, we're talking with him, we're like, okay, let's do this, right? Let's just tell him. So my dad and me spit the idea to him, and he's just like grinning. He's like, all right, all right. I'm like, let's go down, come down to our shop and throw an axe. So he comes down to the shop, he grabs the axe, the little league one, mind you, that was, no one could stick, was the hardest thing in the world to throw at the time, because we didn't know the proper technique, throws it, sticks it, and just ear to ear grin. He's like, <laughs> I'm in, let's do this, right? And so that's kind of how we formed, and that's... A little bit of the backstory on where it came from. It's the so. easiest business pitch ever. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all just you do throw is throw. This one yeah. thing. Even if you throw and you miss, you still are like, okay, I'll try it again, right? So. So how many of these places are there in the U.S.? Because you're the, you're the first in Utah, right? So we're the first in Utah. Um, in the U.S., I don't have a, a, a definite number, but I want to say when we looked at it, when we were, and this was, mind you, this was six months ago, I think. When we or no, we're probably like seven months ago. When we looked at it, I think we were gonna be the ninth okay. in the states. And now, I want to say there's over 20. Whoa. I want to say there's quite a bit. I mean, they're opening every day, and they're just, they're all over the place. Um, when we looked at it, our, our biggest thought, our biggest ones that we found was there was Chicago, there was, so there was Chicago, there was Philly, and then I want to say there was, Kentucky was opening right when we were, and then New Jersey. New Jersey is like the one that's been around forever, and like no one, no one's seen it for like the long, they've been there forever, like the longest time in the States, right? I don't think anybody caught on to it or something. I don't know. Because um, they have a cool facility. But anyways, yeah. And then there was a few others. I can't remember off the top of my head. And then all of a sudden we opened and Vegas opened. And then I think San Francisco just opened last week or last month. And so, yeah, they're just kind of 
all over now. Do you guys all just talk to each other? Uh, so there's actually there's two leagues. Um, we're semi a part of one, and we're looking into another one, and that's how we kind of connect with all of them. So I can't remember the guy's name exactly. I want to say it's Matt. Uh, he stopped in to our joint. He's from Canada. So anyway, let me get on to the point of the story. So I get so we're looking at the league so that you can kind of talk to everybody in. There's World Axe Throwing League, and that one is basically. I think ran by a company called Bad Axe Throwing. Huh. And I think in the States, that's probably the biggest in the US. Okay. But out of overall, I, and like I said, don't hold me to this. If they're listening, they're gonna be like, no, Lord, you know, but uh, don't hold me to this. But I think the biggest one is Battle Axe Throwing and they're in Canada. Okay. But Bad Axe might be, just, might have just surpassed them. But anyways, Bad Axe runs World Axe Throwing League. And so we're kind of sort of, we're kind of a part of that one. We're working into, deciding where we're going to go with these leagues. Okay. And then there's the National Axe Throwing League, which is the biggest one out of Canada. And they're the kind of the ones that, um, like I was saying, that guy Matt, he kind of showed up at our shop one day. He emails me out of nowhere, and he was down here seeing the, uh, the Nitro Circus. And he's all, dude, I Googled Axe Throwing in Utah. I got to come see you guys. So he came to our spot and talked to us. And that was like the dude that made this. Like mm -hmm. He made it in his backyard with like 10 buddies. And I think blew this whole thing into proportion and made it what it is in 2007. I think that's when I, last I checked, that's when he started. It was 2007, he started it up with Battle Axe Throwing, which is Backyard Axe Throwing League, uh, abbreviated, right? Yeah. So he started that, and then I think Bad Axe Throwing came into play, and now there, now there's a ton of them. There's mm -hmm. the newest one in, Pix in Pittsburgh just opened, and it's supposedly the biggest one of all from what I've heard. I heard it's like 20 lanes or 30 wow. lanes or something. I heard it's huge. And then like there's the Vegas one called Axe Monkeys, and then there's the one in Philly called Urban Axes, and they're opening in Texas and a few other ones. So I mean, yeah, it's just kind of exploding like crazy. And everyone kind of sort of talks to each other and whatnot from what I've noticed, but I mean, at mm -hmm. the same time, we all still are competitors. So I mean, I don't know how much <laughs> you talk, right? I don't know. So. so if people wanted to get involved in axe throwing and they just show up at Social Axe, what do they do? Okay, so if you want to get involved, so you just want to come down and try it. You're like, all right, I watched this, I've seen it, my buddy friend, my buddy said it. Most of it is, I've seen it on Facebook or Instagram, right? And they're like, mm -hmm. we want to come try it. So we have a few different ways that we do business. So when you come in, we do um, what's called our walk-ins, right? You just came in off the street or you planned on coming in on our Thursday, Friday night or our Saturday night. That's, that runs for 15 bucks for an hour. We're going to run you through safety. We're going to make sure you, make sure you feel comfortable, make sure you feel safe because it is a sharp blade and you're going to throw it. 15 feet down a lane very fast, right? And it can make you nervous, but that's what we take into the most consideration. We make sure you're safe, and then we're gonna teach you how to throw. So we teach a few different styles. We teach a two hand, a one hand, and then we teach a stationary throw. So actually when you came down, you kind of step into your throw, right? A lot of places they do either or. So we teach, in, we teach the step. It gives you a little more power, a little more, in my opinion, makes it feel a little cooler. <laughs> um, so we'll teach you how to throw, and then we're gonna get you sticking. So that's the most important thing, is we want you to stick the axe, because as soon as you stick it, you're just gonna feel like a sense of, holy crap, that was cool, right? <laughs> you're just gonna be like, that was awesome. So we want you sticking the axe, and then we want you to do it over and over. And I think a lot of times people, as soon as you stick it, I think it turns into riding a bike, right? You just start remembering, and you can feel it as you leave, as it leaves your hands when you're gonna miss or when you're gonna throw off. So that's, so it t yeah, so like I said, it's $15 for an hour and that's our most important part. That takes, that all of that wraps up to about 10 minutes, right? So we take, take the first 10 minutes out of your hour, safety and training, and get you sticking the axe. And then we move into a bunch of series of games. And we have a ton of different games that you can play, a ton, ton of different options that take up the time and make sure you guys have a blast. And there's always a coach and, or coach or assistant on hand to make sure everybody's safe, make sure everybody's doing good, and make sure you're sticking. That's the most important thing to me is if you're not sticking the axe, you're not gonna have any fun. You're not gonna come back, mm -hmm. right? So we wanna make sure, like, I'm watching. If I gotta adjust your footing or I gotta adjust where you're standing. But like I said, most customers, you come in, it takes like 10 throws, you stick and boom, you're, you start repeating it and it's easy to remember. Um, the other thing that we offer and it's the thing that I push the most and that I highly recommend the most, it's called our main events. Our main events are a two to two and a half hour booking that you book online, you come down. That comes with your coach um, for the entire duration of the time and there's technically they're a coach slash host. So we come in, we do the safety and the training, the coach is there for the whole group and you, oh sorry, I forgot to say this. So it's a two hour booking that needs a minimum of eight people. Okay. Right? So you have to bring in a minimum of eight people to do this. Um, we split you into two groups. Your coach gets everybody feeling safe and everybody learning how to throw the axe. Everybody learning how to stick. 
Then we split you into the teams and we give you, we want like axe pun names. So <laughs> Ashley, you've been down a few times, you're good at these, right? So like some examples are axe holes or crazy axes or what was like wax on or axe on wax axe off or uh -huh. something like that. So we came up with a few. Um, so yeah, we give you like some axe pun names for your teams and that's a lot of, that's half the fun. People love that. So they start thinking, because basically we know what it is, right? Mm -hmm. You're just switching the S for an X. Um, <laughs> So you think of some funny names, and then we start playing games, and then our coach is there to make sure everybody's just having a blast and make sure that we're all getting kind of competitive and loving it and having fun. So we play probably four games inside that two hours, and then we do a bracket-style tournament. And the bracket-style tournament declares the champ, right? And then we pull out the fun axes. So after you win the championship, we pull out the big axe, we pull out our double axes, we have our little ninja axes, and we mess around for the last 10 minutes or so. And then we always make it a we always make it a plan to get a picture at the end, mm -hmm. and we always like the simple smile like yeah I had fun, and then the one where it's like hey you know and you're growling at people and you're you know doing crazy stunts with the axes and the pictures at the end so yeah it makes it a little bit more fun. So you have so. walk-ins and you have main events. Do you have a league? So we do have a league. Um, we have a league that's every Tuesday night. We're on week six out of eight right now for the summer league. And then we'll be moving into our fall league in September. Mm -hmm. um, our leagues are a ton of fun. We play mat so we play a series of matches every night that basically seeds you on the bracket tournament at the end of on the end of the seven weeks. So then on the eighth week, it puts you against who you're going to play against, and then we're going to play to a championship and declare a champ. And it's a double elimination, so it's a ton of fun. So if you if you fall out, you still have a chance to make it back, but mm -hmm. it's just twice as hard, right? Um, we don't have necessarily like we're it's basically the first axe throwing league and it is the first, first axe throwing league in Utah so it's a little bit more laid back we're not as super structured yet we hope to be growing into super structured where you have to have a certain axe and you have to have you have to start from a certain point right now we let people bring their own for that that's mm -hmm. the only time we ever let anyone bring their own axe okay. is for league um, so if you want to but it has to be like it has to be okay like you yeah. can't bring in the big old six no. foot double edged blade or something like that is there a uniform for this so, do you have to wear something specific nope, to throw axes nothing su specific but we just recommend that you wear um comfortable clothes and then the one rule we do have is you have to have closed toe shoes okay a lot of people all summer because we've been opening all summer have been showing up in flip-flops so the way we solve that is we sell you a two dollar brand new pair of socks i promise they're brand new we're not selling you <laughs> old ones and then we let you use or technically rent our Crocs. Oh my and god! And we're talking the Ronald McDonald red, <laughs> famous for being known as nurse or nurse Crocs, right? And that what they're famous for is that mm -hmm. nurses wear them the most. Yeah, so they're the bright red Crocs that we have you guys wear. And so a lot of people, and it's weird because those a lot of people don't like them at first, but usually win when they're wearing the Crocs. The luck don't of the Crocs. It yeah, it's like a weird <laughs> luck thing. They get it, so it's cool. It's funny. Okay, so you're in Ogden right now, but I'm starting to hear some rumors that you might be coming down to Salt Lake City. Yes. Okay, so I have not, we haven't 100% signed the lease, so I can't give the address yet, but okay. it is 100% in the works, and I'm hoping to be in Salt Lake City very, very, very soon. Like okay. Very soon. I don't want to put a, a date on it, but I could tell you within two months. Okay. So, so really soon. Yeah. As long as the lease goes well, okay. we're in town. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Uh, we're just kind of... Our, we're just working it out with our uh, landlord right now. We're just working on some agreements. Um, as soon as those are signed, it's turnkey ready. We'll build some targets. We'll be in, rock and rolling. So awesome. It'll be a ton of fun. Well, you'll have to keep us posted so we can let our listeners and readers know. Yes, definitely, definitely. Okay. So. Well, thank you for sitting down with us today. Yeah, no problem. No problem. So, I appreciate you guys having me down. Absolutely. Here. Thank you for tuning into this episode of Salt Lake Speaks. Be sure to find this and other podcast episodes at saltlakemagazine.com slash podcast.